everyone, this is Rima's Culinary Adventures and today we are making my herby roasted cauliflower and sweet potato salad in a zingy oniony dressing. First, let's start with making our dressing. We start with a large enough bowl because this is where all of the salad comes together. We add in our sugar, extra virgin olive oil, about two tablespoons works wonderfully, zest from one lime or lemon. We want to make sure that we don't grate too deep because the white part of the lemon peel tends to be bitter so we have to be very gentle and just scrape once or twice. Then we add in juice from half a lime and save the rest for later. Next goes in some grated garlic. We are using raw garlic here so one should be plenty but I understand the urge to add more so if you must add one more clove but no more than that. Then some freshly ground pepper but you may omit because we are going to add some fresh chilies later on. Then stir everything thoroughly to ensure that the sugar dissolves properly and set aside. Now we prepare the rest of the ingredients that make this dressing really special. First we mince our fresh red chilies. You can use as much or as little as you like. These chilies are not particularly spicy but you could go with bird's eye chilies jalapeno peppers whatever you have on hand and mince everything thoroughly and add it to the salad dressing. I like to mince my chilies really fine because I like a very uniform flavor in my dressing but if you want to control the heat and have the pieces of chili visible then you may chop them slightly thicker. Also you can use chili flakes, smoked paprika if you like. Then we move on to one of the key ingredients of this recipe. I really enjoy red onions because they have a naturally sweet flavor to them and work wonderfully raw in salad and things so I highly recommend red onions for this dish. Here we want to slice our onions really finely. In this recipe the onions sort of marinate in the salad dressing. Within 10 to 15 minutes the onions sort of wilt in the dressing, its juices leach out into the dressing itself. It becomes really quite special and to aid that we want our onions really fine. Also, another trick that helps the onions to wilt further is to sort of sprinkle some salt and gently crush them so that the petals separate and the juices start to leak out. Once done, add it all into the salad dressing, give it a good mix and set aside. Some really wonderful things happen to your onions while it sits in the dressing. It doesn't need a lot of time, just about the time you'd need to prep your vegetables. While you start cleaning and preparing your cauliflower, preheat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius fan. Here we are using all of the vegetable. These leaves actually taste wonderful and they add so much color and freshness to the dish. The tough veins cook perfectly well with the rest of the cauliflower but I reserve the tender leaves to add in at the last minute to preserve the lovely green color that really adds to the look of the dish. The veins are really simple to prepare. They don't really need to be peeled or anything, just simply sliced. They work wonderfully. With the florets themselves, I simply separate them from the stem using a knife and then I break them apart or chop them into bite-sized pieces. This way, there is very little mess to deal with later on. Then discarding the last little bit of the stem, which is a little bit dry, I just chop them into manageable pieces, slice them up, and add them with the rest of my cauliflower. There is something so satisfying about using up the entire vegetable. When the cauliflower is as fresh as this one, we can use everything and it only adds to the dish. I've quickly washed the cauliflower and while it's draining, I prep my peeled sweet potato by just roughly chopping them into roughly uniform bite-sized pieces and then set them aside. Then I prepare a quick rub for my vegetables by mixing in some oil, salt, chili powder, you can use some paprika, turmeric powder and some coriander powder and give everything a good mix. Then I pour in all of my washed and drained vegetables onto a baking sheet and pour in our quick marinade and toss everything to coat evenly. It almost feels like there isn't enough marinade but trust me just keep rubbing and it spreads to coat evenly. Once you're done mixing it all in, spread it all out in an even layer. Now we roast our vegetables in a preheated oven for 20 minutes and prepare the rest of our ingredients. Now I wash the tender cauliflower leaves and leave them to drain. With the dressing you can see that the onion has softened and the dressing has matured quite a bit. This is when I taste it and adjust with a little bit more sugar, perhaps a little bit more acid, a pinch of salt, 
give it a good mix and set it aside. Then for the very satisfying crunch, I get some toasted peanuts. You can use just about any nuts and seeds that you have on hand. And finally, I prep my herbs. I pick out the most tender, most beautiful leaves for garnish, the rest to toss into the salad. And then I mince the stalks really, really finely to stir through my dressing. Of course, you can save them for later, but with tender herbs like mint and coriander, which I use in this recipe, the stalks are so tender that chopped finely, they completely disintegrate in the dressing and there is no need to waste any of it. Then I repeat the same process with lots and lots of coriander leaves and have all of my components ready for later. This recipe is immensely herby and fresh. I have drawn my inspiration from a Thai lab salad and therefore I've used some fresh mints and coriander, but you can absolutely use other herbs that you like. So my veggies have been roasting for 20 minutes and now I add in the leaves and place it back in the oven for 5 more minutes. And there you go, our roasted vegetables are perfectly done. Look, they are all softened, there's a little bit of browning, the leaves are still green, they are crisp and yet they are completely cooked through. Now it's time to assemble our salad. Add some of the roasted vegetables into the dressing, add some herbs, some of our nuts and seeds. Toss gently until everything is well combined. Add more of the vegetables and repeat until everything is mixed well and serve warm or at room temperature with proteins, rice, in wraps over couscous or simply on its own. This salad also also keeps wonderfully in the refrigerator. Just mix in some fresh herbs and enjoy. Please like, subscribe and comment if you like this recipe. Thanks for watching and have a happy day.